In this video, we're going to try to get Python files to open with Python idle when the files are double clicked. If you look around the internet, this is the most annoying thing to try and troubleshoot because there are like a hundred different posts. None of them actually work. So let me show you how to troubleshoot this and what to do. First, I would recommend just starting out with the simple things. Default programs, open that up. This is what the window looks like. We're going into set association. So that was associate a file type or protocol with the program. We click that. What we're trying to look for is Python files, so .py. Scroll down until you see it. Here we go. And by the way, I'm on a Windows machine. I'm actually on Windows 7. Yes, I have been on Windows 7 for a long time. So here you would want to click Browse. And what you really want to do is find this, this idle.bat. It'll be located in your, depending on where you installed it, but I installed my Python in, in my C drive. Then you go to lib. Then you go to, let me move this down so you could see it while I'm working here. Then you go to idle lib. Then there's this idle.bat. Now watch what happens. I'll click open and it didn't, didn't do anything. We hit OK. And then if we look at this, it still says it's Python. Nothing, nothing really changed. The icons looked a little weird there. But if we just go to this location again, I'll prove it. So it's here. Idle bat. Choose it. Nothing really happened, but I still hit OK. OK, so I want to open this with Python idle bat, right? I did set the associations. So when I double click, that's what happens. So here's what to do if you want to continue troubleshooting this, because none of this will work. You can't do open with, choose default, browse to it like we've done. Same kind of thing, hit open. That should work for the majority of you. But if you're like me and and you double click this and it still doesn't open up for obvious reasons, I think. I'm just not really understanding it. Let's do reg edit. So before we begin this, I just want to say that editing these types of files in your registry could be a bad thing. So be careful. What we're looking for is this. We want to, we want to, when we click this, it opens. We get our desired behavior right here. We want to open up a Python file with idle. But we don't want to have to right click it every single time, right? We just want to double click it. So how do we do that? Let's, let's take a look at this context. This says edit with idle. So here we can go up into file, or I'm sorry, edit, find. And we'll look for edit with IDLE. This is just searching for that because you don't want to be searching through your entire registry for this. So let, let the find feature find what we're looking for. Okay. It's finished searching through the registry and you should find something like this python.file just depending on what version you actually installed here. Let's take a look at this. So this is interesting. The default icon in, in my case is C Windows py.exe. That's pretty bizarre because that means C slash Windows. For some reason, there's a py.exe, actually an executable here, you know, and there's these other Python files within my Windows section, which is pretty odd. Don't know how that happened. Don't know why it happened. That's just my setup. So that's why it's referencing that. And now let's look with edit with idle. So here you can see this edit with idle text. So when we click this, right click it, it says edit with idle. And then here it says edit with idle 3.7. So where would that text be? Let's open up this shell here. There it is. So it's this MUI verb looks like this. So now what we want to look at is this command here. We know that when we right click this and click this, it actually edit, 
opens up idle to edit, right? So that command must be what we need to set when we double click it. So I'm going to copy that, paste that down here. And then for this open command, what it's looking for is this C windows slash pi.exe, right? So I'm gonna open this, I'm gonna copy that just in case I need to revert it back. And instead of, instead of just the pi.exe, I'm going to change this command here to be the one that opens idle. Let's hit okay. All right, let's close this. Now let's see what happens when we double click. There we go. So maybe this helps somebody out there because this issue drives me crazy. It has for many years. And this video will serve as a reference for my future self when I go and update Python. Thanks for watching.